in. Over in the far left corner, we have the Gerbils Digging Tower, which is a DIY that was inspired by Aaron's Animals and Vanilla Ham Ham. And you can def should definitely go and check out their videos because they are super, super awesome and they both have amazing channels. The next thing we have is this little cute green hut, and I think this was intended to be a sand bath, but I don't use it as that, I just use it as a cute little hideaway. Then we have a little raw, a little log hideaway, which I got at PetSmart, and it was super cheap. I think this was meant to be for reptiles, but the gerbils love it. Then we have a little DIY glue hideaway, and this was made with popsicle sticks and non-toxic glue, and it was painted blue with little kids non-toxic water-based paint. Then we have a little DIY hideaway that the gerbils use as their nest and on top of that is their food dish which really needs to be refilled because they've kicked so much bedding into it. Moving along along the front we have a D uh, bendy bridge and I love bendy bridges because they can, use, be, can be used for so many different things. So I could bend this back straight and I could use it as a bridge or something like that. Or I can use it as a hideaway. Or I can put it underneath the bedding and have it as a little tunnel. Then we have this cute little flower pot food dish that I'm using. And this was intended to be like a tiny little flower pot for one of those mini plants. But I just use this as a food dish. It was originally intended to be a hideaway, but it's kind of too small for the gerbils. Then we have this cute little yellow chew toy and a sanitized rock. The bedding in this cage is Great Choice Aspen Wood Shavings, which is perfectly safe for your pets, unlike pine and cedar, along with some shredded cardboard and shredded Kleenex. So you may have noticed that there is not a water bottle in this cage, and that is because I have a water dish. I generally prefer water dishes over water bowls because they have a more, they're more natural. And also, I could get a hold of this water dish a whole lot cheaper than getting a new water bottle for the cage. And you also may have noticed that there is no wheel in the cage. This is because the gerbils have a comfort wheel that's 8 inch, but they destroyed it. So I'm going to be getting them a new one in the next couple days. And you don't need to worry about them getting exercise as the cage is huge. The dimensions of this cage are 20 inches by 40 inches, which is a total of 800 square inches. And also they have plenty of time in their ball so they can have lots of chance to, to, to run around. That's all for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you next time on Abby's Animals.